What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves an elite regional bird. We got ourselves a Talonflame team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Talonflame, this Pokemon is actually really good when the power level is low. In regulation age, the power level is low. No legendaries, no paradox Pokemon. Talonflame is ready to rock out with its Gale Wings ability. On top of that, it's got Sharp Beak to do big time damage with flying moves, and it's got Dual Wing Beat, Will-O-Wisp, Tailwind, and Protect. Great speed control Pokemon, great Pokemon to put burns on physical attackers. We love Talonflame, and I'm super excited to be using it today. But other Pokemon that we're rocking out with today features Politoed and Bashkalesia. Nice little rain squad combo. Bashkalesia's got Swift Swim, can do some big time damage with a Life Orb. Politoed's a great support Pokemon. And just like in yesterday's video, we got Parasong. Parasong worked incredibly well on our Lapras that we use. So if you haven't checked out that video, definitely go check it out. But I feel like if we're in another situation where we can just pop Parasong and win the game, Politoed's going to be our main person. Our final three Pokemon on today's team going to be King Gambit, Mousehold, and Annihilate. Annihilate's got that Choice Scarf with Close Combat, Shadow Claw, U-Turn, and Final Gambit. Mousehold can hit hard with Pop Bomb or can support with Follow Me. And King Gambit, just doing King Gambit things, big time physical attacker. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Talonflame team. First match coming at you guys for today's video. We are going up against a heavy rain team. Swift Swim, Polyrath. They got Polito to set the rain. They got Swift Swim, Ludicolo. They got Pelipper to set the rain. On top of that, they got Archaludon and Fortress. Now, this one going to be tough on our end, considering we have no weather control. Now, I could go into like Polito for late game or even beginning just because it's such a good support Pokemon. But I feel like I'd rather have it in late game because if we can get rid of some Pokemon, we can, you know, just Parasong away. Um... But early on here, I think we have to go Annihilate. Look to just pick up some KOs, especially with the Choice Scarf. So I'm going to go Annihilate here. Um, dude, this is tough. This is tough. We might even go Basket Legion. They got us at the rain here. But I'd rather have Basket Legion late game. With last respects, it's just our best option. Man, this is tough. This is tough. Do I go Mouse Hold here? Yeah, I'm going to go Mouse Hold. Hmm. This is, this is tough. This is real tough for us. But I do like these two. So we're going to do that. We're going to go Polytope. We're going to go Basket Legion. This one's going to be a tough matchup for us. Just a strict rain squad. Going to do what's dirty. We don't have much weather control. Our only weather control is rain. And they obviously thrive off of rain. So this one is going to be a tough one for us in match number one. Hopefully we can pull it off. Hopefully we can do, you know, some good things. Maybe drop a Parasong at the end. But I'm kind of scared mostly of Archaludon. Which I hope they don't lead. All right. Ludicolo. Paloops. That's fine. Um, I do have Choice Scarf, so um, I still think I outspeed this Ludicolo. Honestly, I could Final Gambit it. Are you fashion Ludicolo? I think you are. I can honestly just U-turn Pivot here. U-turn Pivot, and we're just going to go for a Pop Bomb into this Pelipper slot. His mouse hold should be faster than Pelipper, and we really don't want him setting up a Tailwind, so he is going to end up just protecting here. I think my Annihilate Bout speeds with Choice Scarf. It does not. Muddy Water's going to launch. Who's dodging it? Someone dodged it, which is good news. Annihilate dodged it, which is good news. So, U-Turn's going to pivot out here. We're going to do some nice damage. I wish I would have doubled down on Ludi here. Double down on Ludi Colo could be nice. Um, Okay. Probably just going to my, my Basket Legion here with Life Orb. Huh. Pop Bomb's gonna come out here. It is gonna get blocked. We're hoping Last Respects can do enough damage. I honestly don't know if it can. Considering it does more damage, the more Pokemon died. I'm really hoping it can KO and then we can just like Pop Bomb away. And take out this Pelipper. Because again, I really just want to get them down to two Pokemon and then just set up the Parasong. Let's see, but again, I don't know if Flash Respects can do enough damage. It's only base 50 right now, but it is Stab, which is good news. It is Stab. Ludicolo is already down to half HP. It's going to be cutting it close, to be honest. Last Respects launches. KO? It does KO. That's huge, because I believe my mouse hold out speeds, and Pop Bomb with Wide Lens should, should be able to do enough here. So there goes Pop Bomb. Love it. Love it. There's one. There's two. Oh, yes. This is totally doing three. Four. Give me five. Show me six. A little bit of seven. Night, night, Pelper. So seven hits. Pelper gone. 
hot start for us so far. Okay, so from here, do we just follow me until my mouse will dies and bring out bring out Parasong? I feel like we have to. There's Polyrath. And Arch Ludon? Okay. I see you. I go Grass Terror, but I think I really have to save my Terror for you. You can't die out in one shot. You cannot die out in one shot. So, you know, this is what we're going to do. We're going to protect here. And I'm going to try to get off a Pop Bomb. If I get off a Pop Bomb, that'd be good. But I think I'd rather follow me and just sacrifice. We're still going to try to get off a Pop Bomb. If we can get off a of Pop Bomb, I mean, Pop Bomb should be awesome. So I'm going to protect the Basket Legion. Knockoff's going to fly. Blocked. Can someone KO my mouse hold? I mean, if you don't, I, I pick up KO. And I'm going to pick up a KO regardless. So actually, Parish Song is not even needed here. Big time protect from us. Mouse hold just Pop Bombing away. What is that? Three hits? Is that four? Might be wrong. We're going to KO. We need one more. Oh my lord, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this move's broken. This move's broken. Okay, so I guess we're not even going to need Parasong here. We're pretty much just going to win this game by ourselves. An Electro Shot's going to fly. Are you going in the Mouse Hold here? If you do KO my Mouse Hold here, I am just going to go into a, uh, a Parasong. Yeah, because I don't want this thing setting up a sweep, and it's just so bulky. It's just so bulky. We can't really just have it set up and set up and win this game. I really can't. So I have Citrus Berry. I am going to Thrasalize my, uh, my Polytoe. We're going to set up a Parasong. And go from there. So we'll go for Last Respects. Thrasalize pop this. And on top of that, I th I, we honestly still win this game regardless. The Parasong is just like a... Uh, it's an insurance thing. Because I still have full HP Annihilate. Who I can just bring out here and send a final Gambit. So... It's just a precautionary thing, right? The last respects and launches. Actually doing great damage. Really good damage. And there goes another Electro Shot, which I honestly think it's into Politoed. Actually, it's gotta be into the Basket Legion. We just Terrasalize just in case. I was gonna make a hard read in uh, Terrasalize Basket Legion, but we gotta just play it safe. And it is going into Politoed, so good call on my end to play it safe. So I'm able to pop a nice little Citrus Berry. I'm able to reset my protects. The Parasong is here. Nice little Parasong. So double protect can come out here. Honestly, who do I think they're attacking? I got a double protect here. It's a simple call because I double protect. It's it, it's very easy for me to win this game. All I have to do is double protect. He can't double hit and they already cancel match. So yeah, it's over. GG's. Moving on to match number two, and I've been loving Parasong as of recently. It's just legit a win button. If they can't swap out, if they're down to their final two Pokemon, you press it, you win the game pretty much. It is so OP. It is such a good move. But we're going up against an elite meta team right here. For Regulation H, they got Amoongus, Annihilate, Urshifu. Well, not Urshifu. That's uh, Ursaluna. No more Urshifu in this regulation. Then they got Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Annihilate. So like I said, very meta team right here. I think Talonflame is going to be a great lead for us. I mean, they could intimidate us, but we can also burn them. That's really good news for us. Big time burns. Or I could just go into Weather Squad. That's not a bad call. Straight in the weather? Hmm. Honestly, we should go Annihilate. Force them to not go into Incineroar. We got the fine on you. Oh no, you got Vital Spirit. This is fine. I like these two as a lead. And then we can bring Rain Squad in the back end. I am scared of, obviously, Archaludon. That's a tough Pokemon. But we have Politoed. So if we had to go into another Parasong, I'm not afraid to do it. I've been on a Parasong kick as of recently. So I'm ready to drop it whenever I can. I'm ready to drop it. So we'll go Annihilate here. If they do go Incineroar, that could actually be that could actually bite us. It's funny, but you have two Pokemon that usually run Defiant, and none of them are running Defiant. So they end up going into Arch Ludon and Amoongus. Um, do I final Gambit down? I could final Gambit here. I definitely want to go into a dueling beat. I might just U-turn pivot. Actually, I'd rather go for a close combat. I do have Vital Spirit on uh 
on this Annihilate, which is good, so I can't go to sleep. I can't go to sleep. But we're just going to go for close combat over final game, but I think this is the right call. I don't think they go for a Rage Powder turn one. I really don't. And if they do, don't, Talonflame will outspeed with the Sharp Beak. They don't Terrastalize. So, I mean, Dual Wing Beat seems like it, it could pick up the KO. Stab, super effective. Sharp Beak boost it. We got it all. We got it all. Because Close Combat can do a ridiculous amount of damage to, to Annihilate. But we're going to see a Terra pop out here. I think this has got to be Arch Ludon, correct? A little Fairy type Archie. No, Amuga's going to get that Terra. going to go straight water. All right, I feel you. I think I'm going for Flare Blitz, maybe. I hope he's trying to go for Spore into my Annihilate. That'd be awesome. But no, he is going to end up going for that Rage Powder. So Rage Powder comes out here. Dueling be going to launch here and do minimal damage. Not bad damage, but not, not the damage we want. Let's comment going to follow behind. My defense is dropped and we do, again, minimal damage. I might have to swap my Annihilate, depending on what Arch Luton's going for. Of course, you got the berry as well. You're going for Flash Cannon. What you got cooking here? What do you have cooking here? Electro Shot. He's going to charge up Electro Shot. What, you think I was swapping in the rain? There's no way you're Power Herb, right? You herbed? You are herbed. Oh, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Herb comes out here. Bye-bye, Talonflame. So, Talonflame gets absolutely ripped off here in match number two. That's okay. Um... Hmm. I mean, Lash Respect's doing a bit more damage here. I think I am going to swap into Polytoad here and probably just go Grass Terra. So I need to re I need to re reset my uh. I need to reset my Choice Scarf. We might we might need Annihilate to get rid of this Arch Ludon, but we have to get rid of Amoongus first because of the whole Rage Powder situation. All right, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. We're sitting 1-0. Arch Ludon is just a tough customer when it comes to this uh, format. Amoongus really good, too. Because the thing is, the power level's lower, so like Amoongus can... It's a bulky Pokemon, obviously. So it can soak up even more shots, which means it stays on the field longer, which means it can Spore longer, or Rage Powder away longer. So Amoongus is just a great Grass-type Pokemon for this format. Arguably the best Grass-type for this format. So I end up swapping my Annihilate. Looking to bounce back here. Surprised at the power herb situation. Wasn't really expecting that. But now that I am setting the rain, I do want to go into Grass Terra. And I am going to go for a Last Respect. So Last Respect's only one Pokemon died on our team. So it's at sitting at, I think, base 100. Which is Stab. That's really good. I'm hoping this could t take out the, uh, the Amoongus. But Amoongus is just so bulky. See? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying with you. And Draco Meteor is going to launch. I don't mind this. You soak this pretty well. Plus, you got the berry. And the real question is, are you going for a Spore this turn? I think you are. And I really hope it's into the Basket Legion slot. I, I'm Grass Terror now. It is into the Basket Legion slot. So that's actually really good for us. Um, okay. So honestly, you might protect your Moongus. And I'm going to read that Protect. I'm going to go Helping Hand Last Respects. I'm going I'm to read a Protect on Amoongus here. I think he knows that I want to get rid of it. If you go for Rage Powder, you go for Rage Powder. So be it. But I really do think you go for a Protect over everything else. And then just start Electro Shotting down. So I'm looking to do some big time damage here. Which all Amoongus, that's fine. That's fine. So how much damage could this Last Respects do? The chances are Polytoad's de a dead man here. Polytoad's such a goner. Polytoad's a goner. Helping hand launches. We might not want to go in the final gambit with our Annihilate. But I guess we'll decide in a little bit. So, because Last Respect's going to launch, and that does, oh my lord, such good damage, but doesn't pick up the KO. And there goes Electro Shot. So, Polytoad's down and out. So, our speed's through the roof right now. Our speed is through the roof. But we survived that. That's actually a big time. That's a big time soak up there. That's a big time soak up. I feel like we have to protect here. And maybe just go for Weather Ball. Look to pick up the KO here. 
I don't know if we can pick up the KO, but I'm going to give it a try. Because I think he's got to fake out the Basket Legion, then I'm hoping Polito just soaks it. If I die, I die. It's no big deal, but we're trying things out here. There's the fake out. Good call on our end. We protect this. Polito, can you outspeed Archie? Please outspeed Archie. I kind of need to get rid of this thing. You don't. Oh, man. Can you go after Basket Legion here? I doubt it. I doubt it. You just got to be taking out Polytoad. But we still have some speed cooking, which is good. Nope, you're just going to take out Polytoad. All right, whatever. That's fine. At least this next turn, I don't have to worry about fake out. I got my Pokemon out. And Last Respect's going to do even more damage. Real question is, do I Final Gambit this Annihilate? That's the real question. I think I just close combat it. Oh, my defense is dropped. Last respect might do more damage. Yeah, I'm gonna throw last respects into this slot. Um, this is our final two Pokemon. I think it's gotta be Ursa Luna. It could be Annihilate, which is a problem that I'm kind of sitting at. But I'm gonna say it's not Annihilate. I'm gonna go into close combat. What does more damage? Last Respect, I think, actually does more damage. Actually, no. We're going to go Last Respects into this slot. And we're going to switch Close Combat over here. Just in case he wants to swap into, like, Earth Luna or Incineroar. Who I think has got to be one of their last Pokemon. Show me Incineroar. Please don't be Annihilate. It's going to be Earth Luna. That's a good call on RN. Great call on RN to switch those last second. Great call on RN. So Last Respect's going to fly here. We're choice into Close Combat now. They are going to bring back out their Fake Out user. And I already know what's happening. I already know what's happening. I already know what's happening. How much damage is doing? It's a lot. That's good damage. I already know what's happening. You're bringing out real boom. You think I'm going to protect this uh, Bash Legion again. I'm not. And I'm just going to attack this Ursaluna KO this thing. I'm getting rid of Ursaluna this turn. I'm getting rid of Ursaluna with either Wave Crash or Close Combat. I'm not faking out my Bash Legion. Or not protecting my Bash Legion. I simply will not do it. So we'll go for Wave Crash. We will go for Close Combat. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. It's a great call on our end last turn to switch to Close Combats and the, and the Last Respects. Because I looked at their team, I was just like, it's got to be Incineroar or Ursaluna. It's got to be one of them. There's no way they brought an Eye Leap. Because if they brought an Eye Leap, we honestly... Actually, I mean, Last Respects probably could have one-shotted it. But Close Combat wouldn't have been able to hit it. So... Would have been a huge problem for us. But now I'm sitting here. Great second match going on here. We lost Talonflame real early due to Electro Shot, but we're bouncing back here. We are bouncing back here. Rest God is going to launch. No fake out comes out here, but I still like this turn a lot. Because Vacuum Wave is going to launch when we soak this. And Wave Crash is going to finish you off. Bye bye. And Close Combat going to do good damage to you. How much damage is close combat doing? That's the real question. Hopefully half. A little bit less than half. But the thing is here, they're going to bring out Amoongus. And the good part about this is my Bastion Legion has Grass Terror. Not affected by Rage Powder. I'm not affected by Spore. But Palm Puff can honestly do some damage. So I'm looking just like Last Respects down this uh, Roll Boom and then Last Respects to... But Moongus, but he probably goes for Grassy God here. And he probably tries to finish off my Annihilate, which most likely happens. I mean, you're probably not rocking Protect on your on your Robum. If you are, we will get off close combat onto a Moongus, which is good. But then you just leave my Pokemon out here for a turn or two. All right, let's see how this one plays. Because the real question comes down to: Is a Moongus Palm Puff in my Bash Legion, and is it KOing? There's my answer. So I pretty much win this game. Pretty much win this game because Close Combat's going to launch in this slot. Do decent damage. Last Respect should pick up the KO here. And I should win this game. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. What a second match. This was a great match all around. Swapping in and out. Perfect Terror by our Basket Legion. Everything working out perfectly. We did lose Talonflame early on in this match, which kind of, kind of upsets me upsets me because that's the Pokemon I want to showcase. But we still have a third and final match, which is great for us. 
which is great. So it comes down to the final Pokemon. We will go into last respect. We will go into close combat. They're probably just going to cancel the match, which they do. We're sitting 2-0. Final match is here. We're sitting 2-0. Would love to grab ourselves a perfect record. And now just seems like a great match for us to honestly lead our talent flame. They got a few physical attackers. We can burn them. We can take speed control. A lot of different options for my boy talent flame. So I am going to end up leading that. Um, Could also lead Mouse Hunter. Could also lead Annihilate. Which Annihilate could be really good for us. But I think they lead Whimsicott. So we're going to have to figure out a way around that. Maybe just go Mouse Hold. I like Mouse Hold. Pop Bomb. I'm with it. So we're going to go Mouse Hold. We are going to go Town Flame. Our last two Pokemon. We could go Weather Control with like Basket Legion and Politoed. And yeah, we are going to do that. There's just something about like just setting up Parasong when there's two Pokemon left on the field. Just feels nice. Especially with Politoed. It's such a bulky Pokemon. It's got Sitch Berry. It's got Protect. It can soak up a lot of turns. So I really like it. But Town Flame here for our lead. Ready to set up Tailwind, ready to do dual wing beats, ready to burn physical attackers. I kind of hope they go into some sort of physical attacker, and they do not. Sad news for us. But what I can do here is honestly just dual wing beat down this uh this one, Scott, and I can just pop bomb over into you. So this is this is good news because I think both of them could KO. You could have flame body. Oh, you could. You definitely have flame body. My mouse holds totally getting burned here. No doubt in my mind. But they're going to end up Terrasalize turn 1. Hopefully this is Volcarona rather than Whimsicott. And it is going to be Volcarona. So what typing you got here? Round. I don't mind. What you, what you, what are you, what are you doing here? That's my question. What's, what's the whole point of the ground terror? The wing beat launches. And it's going to pick up the KO. That's huge. That's huge. So Whimsicott, going. Night, night. See you later. Pop on mouse hold can outspeed you pretty fast. As long as I don't get flame bodied like turn one, I feel like we should still be able to get after this thing. But no flame body we're hoping for. There we go. No flame body. There it is. It's just the second turn. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Just hoping we could have got like three turns. Can we still KO? That's the real question. There's three. There's four. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Give me ten. Give me ten. Ten, baby. 10, baby. Like I said, if we didn't get burned in the first turn, we should be fine. And 10 picking the KO. Hot start in match number three. Pop on mouse holds back. I really like this Pokemon. Talonflame kicked that Whimsicott to the curb, too. So, really good for me. So, yeah, Flame Body. This is a little dirty, but at the price of a KO, I'll take it all day. Because now I can just use mouse hold for support and just go for follow me all day. They end up going into the Decidueye. They don't have Terra. I can just dual wing beat that thing down. And Primarine is going to come out here with a uh, Hyper Voice. Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice. Um, I could go Ghost Terra. And I'm going to launch a Dual Wing Beat. And I'm just going to go for Follow Me. So I'll go Ghost Terra here. Uh, I'm not really too worried about speed, especially if I can land this Dual Wing Beat. The damage is just through the roof, especially being stabbed, super effective, sharp beat, boost it. But I am going to go into a Ghost Terra just so we're able to soak up a Hyper Voice here. There's follow me. My mouse will now turns to support rather than attacker. And the wing beat KO in. <laughs> One tap. Don't even need both hits. Big time damage. He's fighting in grass, so it's like it makes sense. It's four times super effective. But the wing beat's such a low, a low move. So he's gonna end up throat spraying up, but we're gonna win this game no problem. Primarina super slow on speed. I can just pop bomb. I can go into another dual wing beat. And I'm going to pick up a sweep in match number three. So the power of Talonflame gets showcased here in this match. And we're going to grab ourselves a perfect record. We've been doing a lot of 2-1 winning records, but not a lot of 3-0 perfect records. And here it comes. Here's our 3-0 perfect record. The dual wing beat brings you down to half. Pop bomb mouse hold even with the burn. Going to do this all day with the wide lens. Later. Look how little damage is doing. But times that by 10, it's a lot of damage. Get him, mouse hold. Get him. Get him. GG to our opponent. 3-0 perfect record. Pick up a sweep in match number three. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-0 perfect record with this Talonflame team. I absolutely loved it. A lot of the Pokemon did a lot of work today. Talonflame doing big time damage in match number three. Bash Legion and Politoed doing work. We did use Parasong, so that's awesome. And then Annihilate Mousehold. Just top tier combo. Definitely top tier. Annihilate had the Truly Scarf. Mousehold with Pop Bomb big time damage all around but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive day and i'll catch you on the next one
Peace out, everybody.